Hi, I pretty much achieved all my goals regarding the automation side of the aquaponics uh, system. So right now I have the uh, main controller uh, talking to uh, node MCU that holds a ESP8266 microcontroller with built-in uh, Wi-Fi connectivity. Uh, the controller talks with the node MCU through a serial port to a serial line over here so it can actually receive data from the controller and say, send data back to the controller uh, to actually uh, activate some loads. Uh, here on the computer screen I have a supervisory that was uh, done in lab view. Uh, the supervisory uh, shows me uh, everything that's happening with the system, every output, every uh, input, every sensor, every load, every pump, the automatic feeder and goes on. So I can see both the status of the uh, of the entire system. I can also see some parameters, some variables that I, I've set on the controller's interface. Uh, right now the node MCU is working uh, as a web server, it holds a web page, this web page uh, gets, written, uh, gets read and written by the supervisory so it can actually connect with the node MCU using uh, no cables, there is no connection, uh, there is no serial cable, USB cable, it's all done uh, through the node MCU. Uh, so I can uh, control some loads using the supervisory uh, the same way that I used to do uh, right here e using the user loads menu I can uh, select a time and what I need to turn on and send it over uh, to the controller like I'm going to demonstrate uh, so you can see by the way, this is my backup uh, controller, so I can test things uh, without uh, having to uh, test it on the control uh, on the control panel where things are live and some. Uh, so if I got bugs on the uh, on the software, I can debug. I can uh, do uh, better work here than in the actual site. So let's, for instance, uh, say that I want to. Uh, to turn on the automatic feeder for uh, 15 seconds. I press here. If I roll back to the page that I was, so this is the uh, command that holds the time. This is the command that actually tells the controller to execute that that command for that amount of time. So what is happening here is that the supervisory sends uh, to the node MCU uh, a command uh, that holds uh, the time that I want uh, tr to turn on the load, uh, the actual load load that is going to be turned on, and and this uh, command bounces back from the controller to the node MCU. The Supervisory uh, double checks it to see if the command that was sent is actually the same command that was uh, registered on the controller, and then it actually sends this final command that's an execute command uh, because everything's all right, so you can actually turn on. So it takes a couple seconds between uh, these the supervisory sending the command and actually being able to uh, execute and turn on the, the actual load. Uh, right now, uh, by the way, the uh, refresh rate uh, right now that I'm using for this supervisory is actually two seconds, as you guys can see here on the timestamp. Uh, this uh, this refresh rate is controlled over the uh, sur uh, over the controller. I can actually set it up over here. So it's a great thing. I can actually uh, set on the controller, and the supervisory will. Uh, will work at the same uh, refresh rate. So at this uh, particular refresh rate takes eight seconds between I turn on, uh, I send the command and actually uh, be able to see here uh, that the, uh, let's say, the automatic feeder was turned on. So I'm gonna uh, send the uh, 
high pressure uh, pump uh, uh, yeah the high pressure pump to let's say 60 seconds I turn it on and after uh, 8 seconds we're gonna see uh, the pump line up so there it is the relay clicks first on the I.O. Uh, module I'm actually using a digital one uh, different uh, it differs from the one that I have there uh, on the side on the side I have an analog one but this is one just for test so it works uh, just just fine well there's so many things to say but I think I covered uh, most of it because I'm using this uh, this controller here my backup controller I have actually only uh, one at one input wired and it's the uh, level one if I unplug that actually can hear the relay clicking uh, and it's the relay that is actually in charge of the uh, main pump so as we guys can see there is no no more float this pump is turned off everything turned to gray instead of uh, blue if I manually uh, override that uh, by setting uh, a new level here uh, for the turn on if I put it to zero it will actually turn on faking it and the uh, in the main valve uh, uh, also turns on because it's trying to uh, to add more water to the system this valve here is the is the valve that actually uh, allows water from the house to enter the uh, enter the fish tank and do the level reposition but if I go back to the same uh, parameter kind of hard to see all oh, it's turn off the, the main pump and the main valve and I can go back and display the uh, serial data that I have for uh, for this controller so everything uh, that is particular to the uh, internet uh, connect connectivity it's done by this node MCU uh, using uh, Arduino uh, language it's a fairly simple uh, uh, program uh, most of it is the web page that it holds this web page here I can actually see uh, all, all the data that is actually sending the controller uh, puts the same command uh, here so the supervisory can double check it the supervisory done in, in LabVIEW is actually reading these uh, HTML code and uh, extracting the uh, relevant information extracting the numbers it's actually quite a big one uh, I have uh, lots of gauges uh, showing parameters and values uh, I got all these uh, all the uh, I got 34 20 35 uh, parameters that the controller is actually sending the ones that are not in the gauge are here I got the radio flow filter the radio flow filter pump the high pressure pump main pump all the dutch buckets and the uh, bio filter the automatic feeder with the low food warning this is actually pretty important here because i, I now i'm going to be able to uh, monitor that uh, at distance so i know when i need to add more food to the system add more food to the automatic feeder but if i go uh, back here 
there's a, like I said the main valve the temperature bar it's at zero right now because I don't have the the DS18 DS20 oh, I can't remember the, the actual code but it's a digital sensor from one uh, that works on a one wire protocol from Dallas uh, DS18 B20 if I if I if my memory is actually working good so it's it's a fairly complex uh, supervisory fairly complex uh, automation relies on two microcontrollers relies on serial, serial communication the communication over the internet so yeah i'm actually testing this system before i put it i put it on site to make sure that everything is working to make sure that I don't have problems that I have to come over there and just to debug the software so it's a pretty extensive uh, test that I'm doing actually more extensive than the uh, the first test that I've done uh, with the uh, controller software to make sure that it was all the functions uh, were working properly but of course when I do install this entire system that would actually denote MCU and update the firmware I will be recording another video show you you guys uh, first hand uh, uh, showing in, in work and adding also more information uh, uh, that I somehow uh, managed not to uh, explain on this video so yeah thanks for watching